始了吗 ？Yeah， 开开始了。OK。Hello, everybody, and welcome. And my name is Yang Yang, and I'm your Chinese teacher. And sitting right next to me is Jason, and who is our YoYo Chinese product manager.、Um, so there's something great about Jason. Okay, so Jason has very extensive living experience in both mainland China and Taiwan, and he is a lifelong Chinese learner himself. That's、um, right. Yeah, and plus that he speaks Chinese without an accent or with an accent or the local accent.、Mm. So、um, I think for today's topic, there's no buddy more perfect than him to to talk about the differences between mainland Mandarin and、uh, and Taiwanese Mandarin. That's right. Right, right. Okay, so、uh, let's first talk about so. Mainland Mandarin versus Taiwanese Mandarin—it's not really the difference between two different languages, right? Right. It's not like two different dialects. They're essentially the same language, but it's more like、uh, the differences between Australian English and、uh, British English or American English, right? Exactly. Yeah, it's easy to confuse sometimes because there is a dialect in Taiwan that's often called Taiwanese, but、oh. that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is Taiwanese Mandarin or Mandarin spoken in Taiwan,、mm-hmm, which、mm-hmm. is very similar to the Mandarin spoken in mainland China. It's just a little bit different in terms of the accent. And maybe some of the tones are different, and then there's some different vocabulary, like、right. certain specific words are used differently. So yeah, the comparison between British English and American English is really good. Or so maybe like, like in, Brit-、uh, in British English or Australian, you say petrol, and then here you say gas. Exactly.、Right? So the, exactly. in Taiwan and mainland、yep. China, they have different words, and of course, the,、exactly. the, the pronunciation accent is a little bit different, right? Yep. Uh, so cool. So maybe we can just、uh, dig into the the differences later, but、uh, before we do that.、Um, So, in your impression, right? So,、mm. when you talk about mainland Chinese Mandarin, so what does it sound like, or versus Taiwanese Mandarin? Yeah. So, before we actually like explain how they're actually different, right? Just the feeling you get, like if you were to kind of tune out a little bit and hear like mainland Chinese, right?、Uh, it, it's more like. This is I in this area. I eat 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 eat. You know. Oh, there's so much like R sound, right? Yeah, there's a lot of、uh, the R huayin. The the R huayin is like the R sound, right? And particular, know, this is the true with the northern part of the the accent of the, the in, in mainland China. Right,、yeah. and which is what the Putonghua is based on, right?、Mm-hmm. Is based on the northern accent. So the R huayin, the the retroflex sound, is very big and、uh, yeah, very kind of more like. I think of it; it's, it almost sounds like thicker, like this is shi shao ma. It's very like lots of shs and chs.、Uh, I see. But what about like Taiwanese, like the Taiwanese Mandarin? Yeah. Whereas on the other hand, Taiwanese Mandarin doesn't do the retroflex very often,、mm-hmm. and it does more of a like a lighter, crisper sounding Mandarin almost, which is like you know, this is what I did. I was in this country for five years, or something. And sama instead of shama, right? And、uh, it's a little bit crisper and lighter. I guess that's the way I would describe it. And also in terms of your gesture, or even just the the whole vibe, right? That's that's a little bit different. Yeah,、right? yeah, definitely. Yes, it's, it's, it's more like maybe a little bit more,、uh, not necessarily quiet, but just more a little bit more reserved and not as as not as、uh, boisterous, I guess. Right. Yeah, so actually,、yeah. when I was young.、Uh, At that time, China was not super opened up to the world yet. But when we think about like people from Taiwan,、uh, we think of people really, really like, like gentle, like、mm. you know, just、uh, speak quietly.、Yeah. So there's a the little stere- bit of different. The stereotype、vibe. is、yeah. definitely that Taiwanese Mandarin is more feminine. Is that- yeah, that's, that's definitely the stereotype, <laughs> and that mainland Chinese Mandarin is much more. Uh, masculine and 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 stuff, but、right. not necessarily right. The reality is not that that clear cut, but that's、yeah. that's the stereotype. So Jason, I know that you lived in mainland China for how many years? You 在中国住了多久？住了大概六年，快六年。About six years. 那那你在台湾？五年。五年 ，like five years in Taiwan,、mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Okay, so, okay, so, is there like a particular? Uh, difference you see, like when you trans, you had to transition from living in mainland China to Taiwan. In terms of language. In terms of language, or like how you have to adjust. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the we'll talk about this a little bit later, but the characters were different, so I had to get used to and learn traditional、mm-hmm. characters from coming from simplified characters, which wasn't nearly as hard as some people make it out to be.、Mm-hmm. Um, but then the other difference was just getting used to that that different feeling, that different accent, the different body language. So when I first went to Taiwan, I moved to Taiwan. It was very obvious to everybody that I met that I had learned my Chinese in mainland China. Oh, they could tell.、Right? Oh yeah, immediately. You know, and that's always the first thing they would say. So、But、it's so funny know, now that when you are on the phone, I、uh, 
Your Chinese is so Taiwanese Chinese now. Yeah. And uh, it sound, you, I can just tell, oh, you must have been living in Taiwan for, for quite a long time. So. Yeah. Now I have the reverse situation where everybody goes, wow, oh, your, your Chinese is good. But wow, you must have studied your Chinese in Taiwan, right? And I'm like, yeah. yep, yep, yep. Because my accent has, has changed. So. Cool. All right. So, um, well, maybe I think that our students can really tell, like can tell there's a little difference between the two. But now we're going to dig into why uh, yeah. such differences exist, yeah. right? So, um just like a, a British <coughs> English versus American English, there's the accent difference, right? Yep. So let's first talk about that. Okay. Um, the okay. Uh, in mainland Chinese, like mainland Mandarin, we say lots of like zhi, chi, shi, right? So that's the pinyin for for this. But uh, in Taiwanese Mandarin, what does that sound like? That sounds a lot more like. It's not exactly like the pinyin Z, C, and S. It's somewhere in between, I would say, the, the pinyin Z, C, and S, and the pinyin Zhi, Chi, and Shi. So, it, like, whereas in mainland Mandarin Chinese, mm. it might be Zhi, right? In Taiwanese Mandarin, it'd be Zhi. Oh, so zi. if I say, I know, uh, 我知道, and how would you, what, what's the Taiwanese accent on that? 我知道. 我知道. Okay, but 我知道. it's not 我知道, it's 我知道. So it's a little bit in between, right? But the thing is, for you, when you say that, it doesn't make a difference to me. 我知道 yeah. versus 我知道. <laughs> like, I can hear it though. But, but to 我, me, 我知道. whenever the, the Taiwanese accent is spoken, it just sounds like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and or if you want to say 我吃东西, 我喜欢吃中国菜, then how would you say that? 我喜欢吃中国菜. 我喜欢吃中国菜. Okay. Yeah. They're really not emphasizing on the chir part, right? Yeah, they don't do the 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 retroflex, mm -hmm. right? And that's that is the biggest difference between the two in terms of accent. They don't do the chir shi, right? It's mm -hmm. ch, ch. It's kind of like some people consider it lazier, right? Like the tongue doesn't yeah. have to do a lot of work. It kind of sits in the front of the mouth. Right. Um, actually, but also actually in the southern part of China, I don't think yeah. they enunciate as much either. That's so right. when I say the chi, right, that really is called putonghua. That's like the standard uh, mm -hmm. Mandarin, right? So uh, that's where, what everybody's supposed to say. Yeah. It's almost like the, you know, for example, the, the anchor way, yeah. right? So uh, you, you hear on TV. But uh, in reality, especially the further south you go, and then there grows to be more like a, a what a Taiwanese, Taiwanese person. Yeah, even would Shanghai, say. where I, I used to live in Shanghai, that's where I lived in China most of the time. Mm -hmm. So my Mandarin was actually already kind of accented a little bit more like Taiwanese Mandarin. Oh, I yeah. There. I think mm -hmm. if you move from Beijing to Taiwan, you would have a much uh, bigger reaction action from the locals. Yeah, if you yeah. Spoke Beijing, like really thick Beijing Chinese there. Yeah, even for like uh, for Chinese people from different regions that we constantly would say, oh, you are from like, like Try a to certain guess place. Where from. Yeah, yeah, like easily just by the way they s pronounce a certain words, right? Yeah. So uh, yeah, zhi zhi shi is one of them, and so but but then how do you say fourteen or forty? Mm, yeah, like so. How would you say it in Chinese? So if, if I Chinese. say it in a very, very standard way, I would say 40 is 四十, right? 四十, it's like, it's really, really 四, 四十, it's 十, right? It's like very yeah. clear. Yeah, so I think what, 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 what? I'm just going to try to do it as I would normally. So 四十, 四十块, oh my God, 四十块钱. That's, say it again? 四十块钱, 四十块钱, right? 十四, oh, 40 would be 四十, right? And 14 mm. would be 十四, yeah, 十四块钱. So there is a little bit wow. of a 十四, it's not 十四, right? Yeah. It's like 十四, but it's not 十四, 十四 right, right. instead of 十, right? right? Um, so it's a little bit of a between. But yeah, it can definitely be confusing. And even for me, like when I hear somebody say a number, I'm, wait, what? You I know. guess that at this, when this happens, probably you're only going to distinguish from, mainly from tones rather than like yes. a... 十四, right? right? The up and down. That's easy, and right? 四十, yeah. Yeah, but if it's a 四十, 四十, <laughs> I, I can't even do it. You, like, you isn't there so a tongue well. twister that's like 44, you know, 四十, 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 Yeah, like, there is. And if you do that with a Taiwanese accent, I think that that's would be hard, impossible right? to oh. understand. Okay, okay, so that's one of the difference, right? Like, yep. uh, 四十, 四十 versus 四十, 四十, 四十. Um, and... Okay, the next one is the tone differences. Okay, so you guys have learned what neutral tones are, right? Neutral tones is, you know, there are four tones in mainland China, like uh, in, in Mandarin. Uh, that's uh, first tone, second tone, third tone, and fourth tone. Just a second, our, okay. Um, and then there's a neutral tone, 
which is essentially something that's in the middle of your the highest part of your voice and the lowest part of your voice. It's right in the middle and sweet and short. It's like when you say English, uh, you say da 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 but right like da da but right. So that's like the the um. The neutral, the neutral tone, tone right? Yeah. But anyway, so in mainland Chinese, like we use some lots of <coughs> neutral tone in words. But I know that in ma- like um, uh, Taiwanese Mandarin, lots of words, just majority of the words don't carry neutral tones at all, right? Yeah, a lot of words that you're used to needing to use a neutral tone with in Taiwan, they they don't, and they actually use the original tone of that character mm-hmm. if it were to show up alone. Right, right, right. So one of the uh, very obvious example will be Mister um, in mainland <coughs> Chinese. Uh, we just say 先生, right? We usually do the 先生, the, the 生 part as neutral. And in Taiwan, that same word would be 先生. And now, obviously, if you said it with a mainland Chinese accent, it would be 先生. But a Taiwanese person would say something more like 先生. Yeah, 先生, 先生, 先生 right? 先生. So uh, if somebody says, oh, uh, 张先生, 王先生, right? If they really emphasize that the... The second part of the sheng is like first tone, yeah. and I know instantly that person is usually from Taiwan. Mm. Yeah, that's a so. good. So that's maybe the good. Uh, it's almost it's something you say when you're introducing yourself to somebody, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you can find out right away. Yeah. So the xian sheng is an example. Um, the next one is oh yeah, if you describe a girl like a uh, like piao liang, right? Like a uh, mainland Chinese would say piao liang, which uh, liang is the the neutral tone. Piao liang. Mm-hmm. Like Yang Yang Ni Piao Liang. Ah, xie 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 xie. Right. So that how would you uh how how would So in uh the actual character for Liang is fourth tone alone, right? And in main in uh Taiwanese Mandarin they would both be fourth tone in the word Piao Liang. Piao Liang. Ni right? Right? Piao Liang. Right, Piao Liang. Wow. Ni Piao Liang. Or like if you watch a basketball game and they shoot and it's like a perfect shot. Wow, Piao Liang. It's like beautiful Piao Liang. Then we yeah. say Piao Liang. Like piao that's how we say it. Yeah. So like, you'll be like Piao Liang, right? Piao Liang. Yeah. I just feel like oh, piao, piao liang sounds so much more casual than yeah. piao liang. Yeah, that's maybe why it turned into neutral tone, right? Over time, because it just seems more natural to say, oh, piao, piao liang. Right, right. right yeah. And another one is um, like stuff. Mm, uh, this is a good one. It's like dong xi. Dong xi. Yeah, dong xi, like stuff. Shema dong xi. Shema dong xi, what's this? Like, what is this? Zhe shi shema dong xi. Yeah. And in Taiwan, they do pronounce the xi first tone, so it's. Dong xi. Dong xi. Dong xi. So, how would you say, uh, what is this stuff? This is And that will be, this is what dong xi. Yeah, see? This is what This is what dong xi. This is what dong xi. Yeah, this is what dong xi. You're speaking too quickly, but. So, uh, <laughs> so um, if you hear lots of the neutral tones used, and th- that person, like, more likely, or not, or not is from mainland China. Yeah. Can I say that? Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Okay, so, um, and also, uh, we do have, like, the, the two different accents also have tone differences, right? So uh, Yeah, not just the neutral tone not being there, but actual words with different mm-hmm, tones, mm-hmm. right? For example, France uh, in mainland, like, when we say it, it's a uh, 法国 with uh, F-A to be the third tone, 法国. And in uh, Taiwan, they say 法国. Yeah, this is just one of the differences, 法国. So fourth tone, second tone. Like, Instead of third tone, second yeah. tone. Um, or when um, in mainland Chinese we say uh, 星期, right? 星期一, Monday, mm. 星期二, Tuesday, 星期三, Wednesday. So in, and in Taiwanese in Taiwan they accent, say that would be 星期, 星期, So yeah. it's 星期一, 星期二, 星期一, 星期三. 星期三, okay, 星期三. That one's really common, so you bump into this right away. I noticed this one right after moving there. It's like, what? Isn't it 星期? Mm. And I was corrected. No, it's 星期. Yeah, so, okay. Oh, this one is, oh, is kind of weird, one. but yeah. it's a good one. Um, I think most of you have learned N in Chinese when connecting two words or phrases is he, right? H E, he, second tone. He, like you say what? He. Uh, but in Taiwanese accents. It's totally like, different. Han. <laughs> yeah. Han-ni. I remember uh, the first time I watched a Taiwanese soap opera, the main actress was saying, Han I'm mm. like, what? Han? Han? I've never ever heard of that like saying before. So that's weird. Yeah, and in Taiwan, it's it's very different, right? It, you wouldn't expect that. A lot of the times, it's just the tone, but this is actually the the pronunciation is different. Yeah, the too. actual difference. Yeah. So uh, if you hear somebody, 你和我, 我和你, 
the person's from Taiwan. <laughs> yep. Okay, so uh, that's the the tone, accent, pronunciation differences, and let's talk about the the actual uh, vocab use. Um, in let's talk about this. Yeah. So mm. in in mainland China, when we say thank you, we say. Uh, 不用谢, right? In 不用谢, response to thank you. In, right. in response to thank you, and where where you can say 不客气, right? That's another one. Uh, yeah, this. Say, 不客气, this is one that I also bumped into right away because I had been living in China for so long, and it's a very memorized, automatic response. When somebody mm -hmm. says 谢谢, you say 不客气 or 不用谢. But then I went to Taiwan, and I was like, wait, what are they saying? And I say, oh, 谢谢, you know, to somebody, and they go 不会. Yeah. 不会, 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 谢谢, 不会. 不会,不会啦,也会讲不会啦,不会啦,不会啦,不会啦. Oh, yeah, so yeah. when I talk to someone from uh, from Taiwan, when they say 不会, I definitely understand what they say, but it's just really how not how mainland Chinese say, say uh, speak it. Exactly. Uh, because yeah. 不会 for us, uh, we usually used to answer, oh, 你会中文吗? Uh, 不会, like can you speak Chinese? 不会, right? So yeah. we don't really use 不会 in this particular situation. Yeah, this 会 is not to be able to, right? No. It's not 你会说中文吗? It's not that hui. It's mm -hmm. a different one. And it's a little more abstract, right? Yeah. But the feeling is just, don't mention it. Don't worry mm -hmm. about it, right? 不会. So, 谢谢, 不会, 不会, don't worry about it. So, this is a common one. Uh, the next one. Oh, this one. <laughs> uh, 服务员 literally means service person. And this is what we use uh, when we call someone over mm. to, to order, right? Say, if I need to order some food. I would say, hey, 服务员, 服务员, 来一下, 来一下. Like, please come over here. Or if you have the, the retroflex, 服务员! You know, yeah, for your for your with a like a huge like R accent, like a R hua mm. yin at the end, right? And in so. Taiwan, that's kind of a weird word. They wouldn't call, they wouldn't say directly to somebody service person. They would just more. It's a little bit closer to English, where they would go, "Excuse me, sir or ma'am," mm. and they just use "xiaojie" uh, for a woman and "xiansheng," like we mentioned before, mm -hmm. for a man. So you'd say, "Oh, xiaojie," you know, like raise your hand, make some eye contact, and say "xiaojie," "buaisi." Excuse me, right. or Shenzheng, yeah, and they'll they'll look at you, pay, and then come over. And if you said Fu Yuan, I think they would understand what you mean, <laughs> but they don't do that, right? I That's see. not the typical word. And some of you might already know that Xiao Jie, right? Mm. Like just a yeah. second, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Xiao Jie. The reason we don't use Xiao Jie uh, when we talk to a service, like uh, someone you know who uh, uh, working at a restaurant, waiter, waiter waitress. waitress, is because Xiao Jie can can have a um, like a like bad, almost like a negative connotation. negative connotation right. exactly um it means what like a lady of the night yeah. or the the oldest profession the in the oldest world profession right in the world exactly <laughs> uh, especially when you say oh somebody's xiao jie yeah. right like so you, you use it as a profession so exactly yeah. yeah so it's it's in china it's avoided right and it's simpler and it's also furian is gender neutral right so it's it easier is. it doesn't yes. matter if it's a guy or a girl you just have furian service person yeah exactly you know. Um, but we do call people like service people, like I'm sorry, like Fu Yuan Xiao Jie. Sometimes right. we do hear that, but sure. like, uh, so, but sometimes people try to avoid that just to avoid a misunderstanding. Yeah. So, okay, uh, let's continue. Oh, this one. Mm, here's another interesting one. Lao Wai. Lao Wai literally means old outsider, right? So that's how the term of endearment when we use it for foreigners, basically, especially foreigners who look different from. Uh, Chinese, Asian we're people, Asian right? looking people. Yeah. So any Western, anything, any country or ethnicity Western of China is usually Lao Wai. Yeah, people are right? from like India. At least like the person looks so different from like a regular Asian. Yeah, right? so, and yeah. it's a super common term in China. Some people wonder, is it kind of offensive or is it rude? But it's so common that I think it's better not to consider it rude or offensive unless the person is being rude or offensive to you to begin with. But in Taiwan, this word, as though, although people do say lao wai, mm -hmm. uh, I think to some extent, the more common way to refer to foreigners, like in you know blogs and on Facebook and people talking to their friends, is just wai guo ren. Wai guo ren. So yeah, actually foreigner. we do use wai guo ren as yeah, well. And the wai guo ren includes like Japanese, like Korean, formal, all right? wai guo ren. Yeah, but lao more formal. But lao wai is just uh, what yeah. was... Yeah. And what, what we're trying to show you guys here is that trying to explain or trying to teach what is more commonly heard. Right? Exactly, so if yeah. you go to China, you're going to hear Lao Wai, and Lao Wai very common. You should know how to use it and what it means. But if you go to Taiwan, you'll probably hear Wai Guoren more than Lao Wai. Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. Exactly. All right, so next one. Oh, this is another good one. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think lots of you know that Ming Bai means understand, right? So to say the same thing in Taiwanese accent, that would be what? 
，我了解。So yeah, if somebody says like,、uh, "Oh, do you understand?" Right, and in, in mainland Chinese, it's very common to say, "Oh, you understand?" Yeah, you understand? But in、uh, in Taiwanese Mandarin, that'll be. Understand. It's really funny. So the words that we're introducing at this moment, like、uh, now, is that we do use "understand," but in、mm. a different way.、Uh, in mainland China, when we say "understand," that means to、uh, to really know something well. For example, if I say, "Oh, I understand you." That means、mm. like I really know who you are. Oh, you don't understand me. Yeah, if you,、uh, for example, if a couple fights, you know,、right. and the girl says, "You just don't get me." Hey, maybe say, the guy says it too. You don't understand me. You don't understand me. You don't understand me. Okay, so that's、uh, how we use "understand" in in Chinese. But anyway, just、uh, something real quick. In in Chinese, if we know somebody, know of somebody, we say "I know him,"、mm. right? But if you know somebody personally, if that person is your friend or acquaintance, that's what 认识他 But、mm. if you really know someone well, that's what 了解 You understand them, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and these, like you said, these vocab differences that we're doing right now are are interesting because it's not as though these words aren't used in both places. They、mm-hmm. both are, right? It's just the more common usage, right?、Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe a, a different choice of vocab.、Right? I remember last time I think you、um, you had sort of like an argument with your friend, right? Because you say like 了解 Did you use like 了 Versus, you're trying to use Ming. Uh, yeah, I, w- I was.、Uh, we were talking about that. Yeah, like、uh, I, I was talking to somebody and saying, "Oh, you don't understand what I'm saying." Oh, you 不了解 And it was kind of like, or I was trying to, yeah, say that you don't understand what I'm <laughs> saying. But it came out like saying you don't understand me, and it was much more direct and sounded much more off- yeah, like I was I, offended or something. But so this is a very like subtle nuance, right? Yeah. Okay.、Uh, next one is.、Uh, New high.、Uh, I think most of you know that it mean, just means girl in、mm-hmm. Chinese. So female child. A female child, but it's just a girl. Right.、Yeah. And in Taiwan, you'll more commonly hear 女生男生女生 Yeah, this is a funny thing.、Um, if it, it, in Taiwan, it's like if you say, "Oh, it, it's is is she f- is that person female or male?"、Yeah. You say, "Is she 男生还是女生 right?"、Mm. Yeah. But for us, 男生 were like. 女生 literally means like a schoolboy、like、or schoolgirl. Student, girl. student、right? yeah, 生 is for 学生 So we don't really use 女生 as female in general. Yes,、yeah, so, so this is another good example of one that both places use. But what you're going to hear more commonly in Taiwan is 女生、mm. and in Taiwan you, or in、uh, mainland China you'd hear 女女孩 Yeah, for us, if you say somebody's 女生 when you describe like someone a little bit older, I would feel that's really weird. It's almost a little perverted because. Oh right. But 女生 literally means like 女学生 a、uh-huh. uh, female student, yeah, yeah, yeah. like so. Yeah. So this next set of vocabulary differences is a little bit different, right? This these are words that are just di- we, there's a different word in mainland China than in Taiwan, and there's a ton of these. We've just picked some, but there's actually a lot, right? And the, if you live in both places, you just slowly pick them over over time, right?、Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. we picked some good ones where the words are just completely different, and the reasons for why they're different it just depends on when they adapted the word or Local dialects. There's a lot of reasons, right? Yeah. So、uh, just a few examples. Potatoes in mainland China is 土豆 and in Taiwan it is 马铃薯 or、so、马铃薯 a, Yeah. There's a almost a, a Chinese equivalent of YouTube in China is 土豆 dot com.、Mm. 土豆 Yeah. So. Yep. Yeah. So pineapple in mainland Chinese is 菠萝菠萝 So that should be first time. Yeah. Second time. Oh, I'm so sorry. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Hold on. 菠菠萝 and in Taiwan, it is 凤梨 Yeah, 凤梨凤梨 So it's very different. There's a really tasty、uh, cookie called 凤梨酥 Yes. Yeah. Taichung. I live in Taichung, and that's、uh, very popular in Taichung.、Mm, Famous. Okay. So this one bicycle, 自行车自行车 self move. Self move a vehicle. And in Taiwan, it's 脚踏车 which is foot pedal vehicle or foot <laughs> step vehicle. Yeah. 脚踏车 In mainland Chinese, a、uh, taxi is 出租车出租车 And in Taiwan, it is 计程车计程车 or as a Taiwanese person would say, 计程车 Ha. Okay. Um, subway is 地铁 And in Taiwan, it's 捷运 By the way, DTM means ground metal. <laughs> yeah, and I, I think this is a good one because think about British English and American English, right?、Mm-hmm. The tube or the metro. We、mm-hmm. don't say tube in the U.S.,、mm-hmm. but they they do say that in 
the UK. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, well, I have one more thing that just that just came up to me. Uh, there are so many different ways of saying Mandarin and Chinese, and right. Mm-hmm. So in mainland Chinese, we say we call uh, Mandarin almost a uh, 普通话, right? Just a second, actually. So 普通话 is the one way of saying Mandarin Chinese, right? And another one is Hanyu or Zhongwen. Mm-hmm. But in Taiwan, uh, Taiwan Mandarin, what do you say that? 国语. 国语, okay. 国语. So just a second. So I think this is very important. Yeah, this important. is a good one. Yeah, just a second. 普通话. Okay, so 普通话 means like a uh, common speech, right? Yeah. And uh, Hanyu. The standard language, the common language. Right. Han Yu is also uh, Mandarin. Han is the Han ethnic group people, right? Yu means like language, Han Yu. And the last one, of course, like the, the thing that we're mostly familiar with is Zhongwen, mm-hmm. right? Zhongwen. 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 So all these three mean Mandarin Chinese. Yeah, there's like right? a million ways to say Chinese, right? Yeah. So it can be kind of confusing. Sh- and then in, in Taiwanese, uh, they call it uh, guoyu, guoyu, right? Which okay. is the national language. And this term guoyu actually existed in mainland China as well a long time ago, and they changed it to Putonghua. Mm. So it just means the national language, right? Right, guoyu, right. So um, I don't think they definitely need to know all these by yeah. heart, but... If the people ask you, oh, 你会说普通话吗? Or 你会说汉语吗? Or 你会说中文吗? Or 你会说国语吗? So they are They're asking all the same. The same They're thing, all the same, right? yeah. And I think 中文 is the best, right? I yes. feel like 中文 for me is the, my go-to word for Chinese. Seems to cover everything. It doesn't matter what region you're from. Mm-hmm. It's just Chinese. It, the way I think of Chinese is Zhongwen. Right? Yeah, so when you say it, just pick one. But uh, when people say different things, just understand it. Yeah. And speaking of which, one thing that we didn't hit on because we feel like a lot of people already know this quite well is the the fact that, and we talked about it in the beginning a little bit, but uh, is the fact that Taiwan uses traditional characters Mm. and still, and the mainland China uses simplified characters. So that's obviously on, you know, when you look online at magazines and books, that's one of the first differences you're going to notice mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, is that, you know, Taiwan still uses traditional and, uh, yeah. and then uses simplified. But ultimately, they're very similar, right? So actually, there's like a, a about 80% overlapping yeah. between uh, simplified, men, uh, simplified Chinese characters and traditional. So yeah. um, the difference is now huge. Yeah. That's right. Okay. So, all right. So before we sort of conclude... Jason, you have lived in both places, and uh, you have such like a long like a life of <laughs> learning Mandarin Chinese, Chinese language learning Chinese, life. Right? China, yeah, exactly. So, in your personal opinion, where if if I'm like an absolute beginner, right? So, what should I learn, right? So, where should I go study? Like, does it matter? What, what do you think? I would say that. Both places are great places to learn Chinese. So if you're really interested in going to one place or the other, then just go to that place and focus on that accent and those characters. But if you don't know, I would say stick with mainland Chinese because there's way more mainland Chinese yeah. speakers. You know, and the country is much, much, much bigger. So as far as opportunities go and being able to communicate with a larger number of people, that um, mainland Chinese Putonghua accent and simplified characters is probably your best bet. But there's plenty of people out there who love Taiwanese dramas. Maybe they have friends mm-hmm. in Taiwan or family. So there's a, there's a lot of great reasons to study in Taiwan too. Right, exactly. All right, cool. Okay, so uh, for all the written part, a written version of what we talked about, you can actually go to our blog, and then there's a blog article just on this topic. And and also, if you're actually watching us on YouTube, so please subscribe to our channel because there'll be many hangouts. Like I hope, I hope that you guys find it helpful uh, in the coming days. Yeah, we'd like to do more on some other topics. Maybe you can tell us some of the topics you'd be interested Absolutely, in hearing us discuss. Absolutely, yes. And we're just really here to help. Okay, so let's take some questions live from you guys. So please just type in the live um, uh, chat box and then we'll, we'll be able to see it. So we're gonna check out the chat right here. Okay, nice. All right, so da 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 da. Here, let me go to the top. 